and welcome back to Somo Diecast. And welcome back to another edition of our Random Restoration Mondays. And today on the roundabout, I have a Matchbox by Lesney, number 60, Morris J2 pickup. Nicely done casting in pretty good shape, but very play worn. So we're going to blow this thing apart. Take a look at the pieces and parts and see what we can do to bring it back to its original condition. So, everybody, stick around. Well, we got our little uh, Morris J2 pickup all blown apart. Like I said, it's an interesting little casting, very representative of the original. It has two posts, which I am not even going to attempt to drill because there's maybe a 32nd of an inch of post. And if you think about the thickness of that pickup bed, it's just not gonna, there's not enough meat there to drill and tap. So, super glue it will be. <clears throat> it's in good shape though for, for its age. And here's our number 60 Morris J2 pickup. Made in England by Lesney. It has four gray wheels, which are plastic. It's not the metal wheeled version. And they are in really good shape, just need a little cleaning up, as are the axles. We will prep those, clean them, and we will use those to reassemble this little beauty. Well, that's all the pieces and parts for our J2. So let's go ahead and get that casting and base strip and get the rest of it cleaned up and get this build going. Everybody, please stick around.
All right, before we get to the reveal, here's a quick look back at where we started. A Matchbox by Lesney, number 60, Morris J2 pickup. Let's go ahead then and get to the reveal and we'll see how well this little pickup came out. Everybody please, stay tuned. Well, here it is, our completed Matchbox by Lesney Morris J2 pickup. All finished up and restored. This, uh, this was an interesting little simple build, <laughs> but uh, there really are no simple restorations. This one, in spite of the simplicity of the casting, presented its own uh, particular difficulties, one being the posts are extremely, uh, read that as non-existent, once I had the, uh, the uh, had them uh, ground out and had it separated, I discovered there was not enough of anything there to drill, so when I uh, got it painted in the beautiful color shot blue skies, and got the uh, decals, which I made in uh, Adobe Illustrator, reapplied. Then uh, got the wheels back on after we cleaned them up. Uh, about the only solution I had to reassemble was a little bit of strategically placed uh, super glue, or CA glue, and that way it put it back together. Once we had it back together, I did detail out the grill and the headlights and the taillights, even though most of the time the originals only had the headlights, I mean the grill done in the front. But I decided it looked good with the headlights done as well, so we went ahead and hit those while we were at it. But it's a beautiful little truck, love it, and I think it uh, looks so much better than the play-worn version that I started with. And uh, happy it uh, came back together. The wheels, all I did was wash them. They were little gray plastic wheels and they looked absolutely fantastic. Did clean up the axles a bit. Anyway, this was a fun little restoration. Loved doing the old Lesney original wheel versions for restorations. They're so much fun. And uh, it's uh, it, anyway, it's just fun and fun finding them and then restoring them. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not currently a subscriber, I hope you will. And when you subscribe, be sure you ring the bell to so be notified of future builds when they're available. And please share with your friends. Well, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and. I hope you will continue to support Somo Diecast by watching my videos. And if you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see restored or customized, let me know. And I will see you in the next.